Hello everybody, my name is Ion, and today I'm actually doing my very very first let's play, or not really let's play, just more like screwing around, in Dying Light. Now here's the thing about, here's my story about Dying Light. I knew absolutely nothing about Dying Light when I first started playing it, and the only things I really heard about from people was that it was basically a combination of Dead Island and Mirror's Edge, which are two of my favorite games, and I've always wanted, huh, I, I so watch people play this, and I'm like, huh. This looks like a pretty badass game, so might as well get it. And actually, the story about this game is that I actually bought it with money that I got that I won from the talent show, and I uh, kind of bought all the other Prime Titans, so it shows you how big of a degenerate pile of crap that I am buying this. So, uh, yeah, let's play it real quick. Now, just to be aware, I've already beaten the game already, or, or well, at least got close to beating the game as you can do the save file, but that save file got corrupted. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm literally going to start all the way from the beginning, and yeah, so I'm basically just going to have to go from there. So, let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm probably going to do this on hard because I'm more experienced with this game. And keep in mind, I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes because, um, I don't really know. I don't want to interrupt during the cutscenes. So, uh, let's do this. Only for seasoned survivors. The infected are deadlier and more numerous. Volatiles and Nightrunners are harder to detect. Loot is scarcer rate to face a challenge. Hell yeah, I am. Sorry about that, there were some uh, technical, technical difficulties right there, sorry about that, my internet was acting up, sorry about that.
<laughs> sorry about that. Like, stuff like that happens when it comes to me doing these videos. Even though this is my first Let's Play, just be aware. I'm sorry that that was a mistake. Okay, finally. We're actually trying to play the game. Well, I don't even know why that chick didn't even go to help save him, even though he's clearly almost <laughs> about to get freaking killed. Okay, see what we got here. City of Haran. Locate Suleiman and intercept the file. The process detailed in the file is incomplete and, if implemented in its current state, toxic. If any attempt to use it will result in countless lives lost, it must be recovered. Alright, gotcha. Okay, well, uh, see, the whole idea of this game... Like, Don't pinch me. Well, if you're... Well, if you're trying to sneak up on me, then don't freaking yell at your face, you stupid butthole. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I'm zombie. Nyar, 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 nyar. I'm a zombie. Okay. Well, I'm a zombie who's got a nice pair of shoes. And apparently I'm drunk as fuck. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I never really, like, actually took a look at this room, and I really want to see what's in here. Okay, see so what we got here. Uh, mm, look at that designer couch. Freaking loving that crap. Uh, bed. Okay, some living here is clearly a serial killer. Uh, what do we got here? Jade, the Scorpion Aldemir, the meet the three-time kickboxing world champion. Okay, I, I, also, by the way, Jade is actually the, the chick that just saved us earlier, so the fact that one of the zombie survivors is a freaking three-time world champion kickboxer, I'm surprised that she single, hasn't single-handedly kicked every single one of these zombies' ass in this entire city. Oh man, loving this view. Love the smell of pollution. All right, now let's see what we got here. I mean, a clock. I can always tell the time. Globe. We're going to be somewhere in South America, assuming. Okay, let's see what we got here. May Hans 3. Oh, damn, I want to go see that movie. Let's go see what we got here. Damn, nice living area. Oh, man, I love that 1980s TV. Oh, it's on radio. That did nothing. Love your 1980s VCR radio. Ah, children, even scarier than zombies. Bro, I wasn't even trying to scare you. I mean, frick, I mean, the kids are, are the ones coming to my room and acting like little buttholes waking me up. Okay. Okay. So I'm 31, apparently. Because that's my age, that's a complete lie. I know, he just told me two seconds ago. Jeez, lady, no need correcting me. Okay, so... Okay, Awakening, go see the boss in room 119. Okay, see what we got up here. Um, okay, so it seems I have to go to the boss in the room 190, which is basically Raheem, or whatever the hell his name is. The most confusing name in human history. I'm gonna close the door, be nice. Okay, what do we got here? Got a freaking designer Ikea closet dresser thingy wardrobe i don't know what that's called okay what do we got in here i never really looked at the tv i wonder what it says remember kids aim for the head the gre is working night and day for you why is your mascot a is that supposed to be a mouse or a dog i don't know what the hell that's supposed to be i'm assuming it's a mouse i don't know what the hell it's supposed to be okay what do we got over here uh we got a delicious microwave Let's see what we got in there wow apparently mm, love this kitchen uh, what do we got over here? Uh, ooh, some mac and cheese. I want that mac and cheese. Give me that mac and cheese. Can't have some? Nonsense. Okay, now, uh, head over to Raheem, I think is what his name is. Karim? I don't know what the hell his name is. It's really kind of confusing. No, I don't. Someone else, and you won't even say that I'm here to be punished. 
Okay, well, gotcha. Well, gotcha, no need to be an asshole about that, Raheem. Okay, I, I'm just gonna tell you one thing. Raheem is probably, like, what, my least favorite character in the entire game because he's just a whiny asshole. I never really kind of freaking cared for him, in all honesty. Okay, so he's saying that there's a dude in the 13th floor that's supposedly dead. I don't know why I'm not going in there. He's asking, he's telling me that I'm basically going into a mine cave in, but I can take on a zombie that can carry like a 230 pound iron bar with one arm. Bro, I'm just gonna kill like one zombie. Like, relax. I mean, I'm not like I'm not like disarming a bomb or single-handedly taking down a, an entire mil military regime with my bare hands. I mean, freaking relax, buddy. <laughs> cool your jets, there, friend. All right, now apparently I'm going in here. Oh, uh, there, there's a carriage. There's a carriage. That's not a very good sign. There are zombie babies in this game, and they're very terrifying. They're probably the only enemy in the game that actually scares me. Okay, thank Christ. There's nothing in there. Oh, there's gonna be a little zombie baby. Trying to spit cream corn all over my mom, my mom's breasts. I don't want that to happen. That's bad. Okay, there better be a weapon sorts in here because of oh, which price there is. That's not good. A uh, pipe, probably the worst weapon in the game. I don't know. Okay, there's a dude that's, uh, that's calling for help, and I need to help him. Smack down door. Uh, smack down door. Oh. oh. Well, that was well, that was remarkably easy. I, I thought I was just gonna have to like murder the crap out of something, but no, just a uh, well played shot to the head. Hm, nice. All right, duct tape. Okay, so uh, I gotta create a med pack for this this dumbass that freaking cut his cut himself for no reason. Okay, thanks for count on that. Uh, anything in here? Uh, no, a whole lot of freaking nothing. <laughs> Take care of Mark. This is his name. Hey, Mark, how you doing? Dude, if you know where all the ingredients are, why don't you go for me, lazy butt munch? I mean, hell, if, if anyone's a lazy asshole, you're the lazy asshole, if anything. Jeez, I don't know why Raheem's gotta be such a butt munch. Here I was trying to get my damn radio back, and he's acting like I'm trying to freaking stab somebody in the chest here. But oh no, I'm just trying to get my radio so I can get in contact with my buddy so I don't freaking die. But no, no, Raheem's gotta be such a freaking butthole that he don't wanna let me use my radio, so screw him. Alright, got the duct tape, uh, now I gotta get the, uh, freaking gauze or whatever for the med kit. Oh, if this item is where everything is, I don't know why the hell he's gonna get it himself. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing here. Oh, now it opens? No parts. Uh, no, nothing there. What's in here? Okay, it locked. That's not good. Okay, eh. 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 Open! Eh. Eh. 
Okay. Ugh. I don't know why you can never. I don't know why you can only kick down doors when, whenever you want to look cool in games. Okay. I head down this way. Right, do I have a flashlight? Yes, I do. The flashes. Uh, open the door. Oh, to God, there's another zombie in here. Uh, zombie, you in here? Please don't stab me. Oh God, it's nice. Now I gotta find the other stuff. So we have more stuff in here. This opens. Uh. Yeah, nice pair of slides. Uh, no, nothing in here, so I guess I just gotta create stuff. Okay, crafting. Ooh. Now, uh, I think the whole goal of this first episode is for me to find the uh, Korak machete, which is probably the most OP weapon in the game, and uh, it's a very easily weapon. It's one of those developer placed weapons, so yeah, uh, let's see if we can try to find it. It's not that far from here, at least. He didn't even cut himself, he like scraped his arm. What the heck is this? Oh, screw you, lady. That's the only thing I could find up here. Like, what the hell do you expect me to find? An entire, you know, first aid surgical kit? Damn, lady. No need to be a freaking butthole. Why is everybody in this tower got to be such an ass wife? I mean, jeez. Oh, nice. Got some experience points for giving a guy a first aid kit. Nice. Hey, yeah, I, I just gave the dude God's an alcohol. I'm a, I'm a real freaking hero. Might as well call me uh, Eye on the Medic or something. I don't freaking know. Dude, I just killed one zombie. Like, jeez. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why you guys act like I'm such a useful asset, even though I only just killed one zombie by tapping it in the head with a piece of pipe. That's Rusty, possibly gave them tinnitus of some sorts. So, uh, so you're gonna ask me like I'm the next Christ. Oh, that's nice. Alright, so, uh, next goal, uh, <laughs> now, um, here's the thing. I know I'm not really talking very much, but, uh, the thing about it is, is that, uh, I, uh, it's sort of late, and it's kind of like 12, 1230, almost 1 in the morning right now. So, uh, I'm just, I'm a little bit tired, but I will try to at least, uh, keep a bit of a personality up. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Headquarters. Might as well paint a giant target on the door saying headquarters. Hmm. Well, uh, I think I got some experience points and bloopy loops. Now I gotta talk to Raheem. Okay. I swear, he's gonna drink some some copious amounts of bleach in about five minutes, I swear. Oh, jeez. I mean, well, I mean, there's no way to open a door. Like, don't tell me, like, if I, like, walk slowly towards the, like, slam the door open. Oh, now you just open it like it's a normal door. Okay, well, I mean, uh, here you are, freaking slammed through the door like damn Chuck Norris, but now you're gonna freaking act like Chuck Norris, you just got turned into a brontosaurus. Oh, jeez. I can't believe I actually tried rapping there. Uh, rapping is absolutely on point. It's some rivals out of Eminem. Uh, so, okay, see what kind of clothes I got. I got a kick ass bag. See what I got. Alright, hint. This is your player stash. Yeah, I know what player stash is. I can hide I can hide literally infinite infinite amount of cigarettes in here so I can sell it and make billions of dollars off of an infinite amount of money. This game makes a lot of sense. Change of clothes. Okay. I look like the world's most athletic janitor, is what I look like. 
or, or like I look like with some type of quarantine surgeon who just just got out of medical school. He's just the guy who holds the scalpel for eight hours. Oh, uh, yes, my favorite part, the parkour system. Okay, now this is the one thing I really got to get out of the way. The parkour system in this game is absolutely freaking incredible. It's probably hands down the best part of the game. The combat is like the second best thing about the game. Now I got to uh, get outside. Let's see what Raheem's up to. Raheem? You up here? Oh, nice, nice. Damn, be careful, bro. They're trying to kill me. Alright, let's do this. Alright, yeah, I, I, I don't know this whole song and dance. I know how to use these here uh, newfangled. Uh, right, let's get over here. I've done this before. It's the simple gym. You know, the funny thing about it is, I've actually wanted to do something like this, like parkour in real life, but I can never really do that stuff because, you know, my, my parents have told me I'm suicidal, apparently, which doesn't make very much sense. Asshole. Well, dude, well, well, dude, here you are jumping off a freaking, freaking jumping off a freaking two hundred freaking foot building, and then you land on there saying you broke your leg, you freaking butt munch. I mean, jeez, I'm sorry. All right. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, it, it's kind of cool how I, I, I used to do this training course like literally all the time. So I can crouch over here, run away over here. Gotta go sideways. Uh, baby. Gotta go up here, run around, jump like this. What the hell what was that? I don't know what the hell that was? Okay, here we go. Jump over here. The hell? What the hell just happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what just freaking happened there. I just kind of just freaking suicided myself apparently. Yep. Oh, well, screw you, Raheem. Bet you didn't do this good the first time you did this. All right, I can do this. I can do this. I'm the parkour master. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it, Daddy. I did it, Daddy. <laughs> I ate all my green beans, Daddy. I don't know why I just started doing a Jeff imitation. <laughs> Jump up there. Get up there. Get up there. Thank you. Please. Now I got to get over here. You know, it's actually kind of funny how I uh, I do this stuff like literally every freaking day. It's just something I just kind of got used to. Damn, look at that nice Rolex I'm wearing. Okay, climb over the beam, go over here, over there, and... Uh, oh, oh, wow, I actually did it. Holy crap, I thought I didn't even make it. Holy crap. Oh, nice. I climb up here, and there we go. Damn, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm having seizures now. I think that's like the worst time to have a seizure is when you're literally on a crane that's like 300 feet in the air. Oh, 
when is when is having seizures like a normal thing? Like that's actually kind of sad and a little bit scary. You know, you're having seizures because you got bit by a freaking zombie five minutes ago. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh well, well, I accidentally hurt myself. Well, Raheem, how you do? I just broke my legs. What doing? Hmm. I'll talk to the quartermaster then. Head downstairs. Okay, wow, geez, I freaking run at lightning speed. Oh god, I passed it up. Wow. I guess my lightning speed apparently broke the sound barrier. Now I don't know where I'm going. Alright, here we go. Go around here. Yeah. Ding ding. Oh, I gotta hold the button. I I'd press the button not five minutes ago, but no, apparently. Now someone spilled tar all over the screen, apparently. Okay, well, now since we're taking a break and waiting for it to load, uh... Good job. Now nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far so good. Now once that's resolved, who knows whose symptoms I'm dealing with will be even better. Yeah, well, thank you there, Crane. Uh, basically, um, <laughs> it's kind of funny how, um, uh, it, it's like I make it look all easy and whatever. It's probably because I've been playing this game for a little while, and it's honestly pretty fun. I don't think I ever told you the story about how I actually got this game. Uh, the, how I actually got this game was that I uh, did a uh, a talent show contest for my school, and we... Um, Hmm. Ah, nice. Uh, redeem docket. Uh, oh, and they already had that event. I wonder, I wonder what I got. Blueprint candy crusher. Ooh. Sooty snowman outfit docket. Do you want to redeem docket? Uh, yeah, sure. You've unlocked Snoo Sooty snowman. All right, nice. Now, uh, I can go in. I gotta go outside to the real world, ladies and gentlemen. Right out, Chad. Okay, finally, I'm outside. All right, now uh, this is where I'm actually really gonna have, I'm gonna be able to really talk about stuff like this. Um, my whole story with this game was that I entered a, a talent contest in my school and uh, I won first place and I uh, kind of got like fifty dollars from it and I uh, was able to buy this game along with uh, getting the rest of all the Prime Titans. So yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm doing pretty good myself. Now I gotta get up here. I can't really do the parkour fevers because I'm still like really low level and I can't really do that stuff, so I'm probably just gonna have to stick with whatever skills I got and uh, just go with that from there. Alright, now where's the first mission? So we get a shot of anti from Dr. Zara, so now we're just gonna jump up here, go around all over the place in the trash can, trash stuff, or there's a car. Huh. It's kind of funny how you like just jump on a car and you don't even break your legs at all. Huh. Die. Eh. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Get off me. Oh, God. Okay, I forgot I'm not that good at this game. Okay, I gotta, like, kind of get the hell out of here. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. Hop over. Got you. Now, all I gotta do is just go in there. Eric's safe zone. Oh, wow, that, that, that escalated quite quickly. Uh, 
Dr. Zara. Oh, I also need to heal myself. Oh, oh, now healing takes time now. Oh, that's that, that's really nice. Ugh. Hello? Doctor? Hello? Are you there? What is it? Are you coming again? Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? No, no, no. The crisis is, the quarantine system, the crisis has to be cut to its core. Mm. I'm hoping to turn the inevitable around. Does the BRE fit you? Inevitable? So, is there no cure? It's the way to make us feel better. There's no cure right now, but this year I've been running for Sunday's Dr. Jen on infectious disease. Mm. But I can't get the word nicely out to her. Mm. So you really think you can figure it out? If Dr. Jen didn't tell us this, I think that I might not have read about this other man. And who's Dr. Jen? The college track on Capitol Hill where, where the outbreak killed more than 12 people. She's been collaborating with Neil Rosenberg. Saying it has made more progress with the clinic than the study. Also, it's now a real experiment for Bernie Sanders. His call is yet to recombine those magical vials into tens of millions and moving them around the city. Taking some of the infection out easily, then could destroy and vaccinate the results. But they didn't? Well, that's how it might be. I'm afraid that I wasted too much time on it. No one who holds any answer for any of this matters. In any case, well, I'm, I'm hopeful that it's more permanent than I have to accept that this is my final home. Hmm. There you go. There's the uh, stereotypical uh, old man that can't really think. Okay. Now it says, get a shot of answers to Dr. Zara. Already got that. Now, uh, it's got to get out of here. Um, ah, here we go. Okay, well. Well, if I'm going to talk to the spike, I'm going to go jump around a little bit. Oh, wait, well, I already leveled up. Survivor ranked, uh, skill point acquired. Alright, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see what I got for survivor point, uh. Well, the only one I can have is survival starter kit, starter pack. I'm talking about. Speaking of starter packs, I remember when I uh, when a friend of mine told me about the uh, the a long time ago when you used to have like a Microsoft uh, like Windows XP and uh, the starter packs they always have like like Space Cadet and Pinball and all that crap. I swear. Also, I learned how to craft Molotovs. I think pretty much any idiot can make Molotovs. Shop and quartermaster have an inventory. Okay, Get up here. Jump up that you just like like literally grab onto like one like nail inch of like freaking con concrete there, friend. Okay, now let's get a shot at that city. Oh, that's a beautiful city. Yeah, that's a beautiful unfinished building. Oh my god, dude, this freaking city is absolutely nuts. Ooh, what's that? Oh, I think that's where the uh, the Bozak Horde is, like all the way over there by that stadium. I think that's where the Bozak Horde is. The Bozak Horde is basically like a saw death trap type thing, except it's actually more annoying and it's more annoying than you really think it is. But, um, yeah, uh, okay, uh, now I forgot what I was even doing. Uh, get a job from Spike. Uh, I was gonna say one thing, who the hell names their kid Spike? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, like, if you're in, like, if you're naming your kid Spike, you're either asking them to be a bully, or asking them to get bullied. It's either one or the other. Probably simultaneously both. I gotta get up there over hit. Real military training. I don't know why they never really teach our, like, our, our, our uh, U.S. Army soldiers how to do, like, parkour and stuff like this, instead of just being a bunch of tanky. Dudes like this, they need to be like more agile and stuff. Okay. 
the land that you put up your mouth and the tongue that you talk with. Now this is where they start to go around on us. This is the question is who? What can we do? How can we serve them? What can we do to them? And this is when they have to come to him. Do you love them? Okay, gotcha there, buddy. I see they're uh, mildly tapping your uh, your your Lenovo laptop. Hashtag not sponsored. Okay, now I just got to get out of here. Uh, get over here. I'm not really going to do the... Okay, yes, I know how to loot stuff. Okay, it's not that hard. Jeez. Ugh. Turn the ah, get up there. I need to turn off the uh, tutorial since I can kind of already see it. Kind of type stuff. Leaving save zone. All right, that's obvious. Uh, I'll go, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Die. So these zombies take like 300 hits to kill sometimes. Ow. How dare you hit me, lady? That's not nice to do. You guys are very nice, you know that? Toss some firecrackers so it'll distract you. Wow. Just wow. Uh, craft them all so I fell off here. Uh, can, I, can I even make them all those cocktail? I can't. Throwing stars, no. Uh, what the f I, I can't even look at my freaking thing without getting paused. That's nonsense. Yeah, I gotta use medkit, which, you know, freaking takes time now. The last time it was freaking instant. That's nonsense. Any zombos come towards me? Oh, uh, yeah, there's a couple zombos. I gotta run this way so I don't get uh, connected by more zombos. Anything in here? Yes, I found $16 on a payphone. So there's a payphone in a game that was made in 2014. This game lied to me. I prepare a trap for Brecken's but no, uh, first off, I gotta take care of these zombos so they don't freaking kill me. First there was zombos, now there's. Uh, first there was doggos, now there's zombos. Uh, now stand back, I'll let myself revive. Yep. Always hit for the head. Don't aim for the head. Freaking Jesus, you're heading out of adamantium, lady. Ah, stand back. Stand back, Troglodytes. Where I have the power of. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got up. Jeez, these zombies are some tough son of bitches. Get back. Get off of me, please. Okay, well, I got to I got to prepare this trap. Alright, see so what we got here. I right, gotcha. Now I just gotta kind of run the hell away because that's why we're called runners, right? Yep. Oh, okay, well that that fa that failed spectacularly. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, gotta get up here. All right, nice. Now I'm safe away from the zombies because they can't climb. Because if they do, their bones will try to fall off. Yep. Okay, well let's help the dude then. I'm not doing the freaking parkour fever challenge. I'm not doing it. Okay, so where is it? Help trap survivor. I literally gotta go all the way back. Oh, fine. Oh. Oh. I, I remember that there's that there's like a parkour challenge here somewhere, but like, I mean, I, I just kind of memorized it because I just, I, I just played this freaking game so much. I, I uh, kind of memorized some of the parkour moves. So, I mean, learning parkour in this game is mildly easy, but also a bit difficult. And, you know, since I'm only a level 1 runner, then it's just going to be even more of a headache for me because the guy gets tired, like, within 5 seconds. So, um, this is going to be more of a learning experience. Can I get it up there? Yes, you can. Agility level up. Skill point acquired. Nice. Uh, what do we have here? Jump. Grab. Kick. Kick. Right, get up. Get up. Oh, <laughs> hey, 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 guys, check this out. Hey, hey, zombie, come over here. Come over here. <laughs> you, you just got pranked, bro. Pranked the wrong people. Pranked, 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 pranked. Okay, now you're dead now. Let's see what you got. Fifteen dollars. I could, I could buy a whole new, uh, I could buy a whole new fake Gucci belt with that much money. I should know more like thirty dollars. You know, because I'm a sad, pathetic guy who doesn't waste two thousand dollars on a belt. Okay, go there. Uh, under here. It's down here. Nothing. Oh, I just broke my leg. That's nice. Uh, get away, zombie. Well, I missed that completely. Now let's kind of get away from zombies before I get killed. Yep. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, I'm up there. Thank God. I'm, okay, well, there's a lot of zombies up here. And there's a ton of them. Wow, these zombies are stupid. Okay, now I gotta head over here where we actually help tree help tree up a survivor. Hey, buddy. Please recharge. Thank you. Die, please. Like, please die. Weapon in effect. Oh my god. <sighs> They're hit in the head. Please die, please. Hit in the face. Jeez. I mean, these guys would take more hits than freaking that one dude from Kill Bill. You know, it takes like 3,000 hits to get killed. Please die, please. You dying would be greatly appreciated. Oh my, like, dude, these zombies, like, will literally not freaking die, I swear. Please die, like, for the love of God, just please die. Thank you. Thank you for your cooperation. I got metal parts. Oh, you're, oh, you're stuck? You're stuck there? Anything? Oh, oh now, oh, now you're gonna do something, huh? Oh, now she dies finally. Oh, cool. Nice, nice, nice grab, by the way. Oh, craft a new item. What can I craft? What can I? What? What can't I craft? Oh yeah, I can do Molotovs now. Agility. Dodge. Yeah, dodge. Power. Power. Power Rangers. I'm sorry, I had to do a Power Rangers reference right there. Oh. oh. Open. Door. Open. Oh, Zombo. Hey, Zombo. How you doing? Thank God you're dead. Finally. Alright, now. Okay, finally. That's where I can hang out. Battle Journal. Alright, turn on my first set of lights. Fantastic. Alright guys, I'm probably gonna have to end the video right there, but uh, even though uh, even though it's uh, only the very beginning, I hope to God that we will climb that tower one day and kick some serious zombie ass. So, have a decent day out there. This is Ion signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you can. Peace, peace, ladies and gents.